back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this makeup look using my Subculture palette. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look then please continue watching. So I've done my eyebrows on my concealer off camera because I feel like you've seen that a hundred times already. But I'm going to jump in with the Subculture palette. Mine's a bit battered and bruised as you can see. Shade Fudge at the bottom. Take a fluffy brush and just pop that onto the eyelid. It's going to look messy at first but we're going to blend it all out anyway because that's the key of eyeshadow is to blend. Blend that out right to the top of the brow. Like that. Basically it looks like you've been punched in the eye so far. Let's put it that way. Then we're going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take a flat brush like that and I'm going to dip into the shade All Star. I'm just going to pop that in the in the corner. All the way around. And the outer corner. Leaving that little space in the middle. And we're going to jump in back with the same brush we used to begin with. Go back into the shade fudge and just blend those shades out together. Then we're going to take that fluffy clean brush again and we're just going to blend out all of what we've put down on the lid. I'm possibly the worst person for explaining anything, especially if it's eyeshadow. And then we're going to cut the crease by using a flat brush. Mine's already been used for my eyebrows. And then we're going to take this concealer revolution pro in the shade c2 this is so full coverage absolutely love it for carving out my brows and cutting the crease and then we're gonna start by placing our brush in the middle of our eye like that and we're gonna drag it down and then we're gonna follow the shape of the eye round Now I've messed up a bit there so I'm going to take it a bit higher Then I'm going to take another flat brush I'm going to dip into the shade of Dawn That nice gold shade And pop that where we just cut the crease Just gently tap in on where we cut the crease because the concealer obviously isn't dry. Then we're going to go back in with that same fluffy brush and take the shade All Star again. I'm just going to pop that on the end. Making sure we blend that together so it doesn't look like the lines are harsh from the concealer. Then I'm going to grab some mascara, the CO, the CYO mascara. I'm, first of all, I'm going to curl my lashes with this. I'm going to pop 
that on. Then I'm going to go in with lashes. I'm going to use the Beauty Lashes from Primark in the style Queen. Again, I absolutely love these. So fluttery. And I, I think these are so much better than the £5 ones, which I always put. I always go into Primark and grab these Paris lashes. They're amazing, but if you're going to save a pound, I think these ones are a lot better. So next time I go into Primark, I'm going to grab the £4 ones. Use my Duo glue. Don't worry, and actually, I'm just going to get a wet wipe. And I'm going to pull my eye and just sharpen up that line. You want a nice sharp edge today. I always do this. It literally is like waiting for Christmas doing this. Who's excited for Christmas? I absolutely hate Christmas, but when it's like towards the end of November, early December, I'm like, oh my God, it's Christmas soon. I get so excited. I don't know what's wrong with me, even though I hate Christmas. Like, there's nothing to do on Christmas day. I'm gonna pop this lash on now. And take the end of it, place it on the end. And just pop it down where I want it first. And I'm just gonna take my tweezers and I'm just gonna pinch the lash and the, my own lashes together to make sure it's stuck on properly. And there's the first eye. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other one and I will be back. So I'm back and I've done my other eye off camera. Now I'm gonna jump into doing the face. I didn't want to use this in this video, I wanted to use it in another one, but I used this yesterday and I was just like so, so, so pleased with using this. So I'm going to take the Ordinary High Spreadab Spreadability Fluid Primer. It says it's a lightweight surface smoother. I'm just going to pop a couple of drops on the face. I'm going to take this stippling brush and just going to blend all that in. It's so smooth on the face, it's amazing. I think this one's quite good for sensitive skin because I have acne as you may know, as you can tell. I'm just gonna let that soak into the face for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna take my all time favorite foundation. I know I used this in my last video, but it's a must have. If you don't have this, then I advise you to go and purchase it. I'm just gonna pop some of this all over the face. I think this foundation works best with the oil. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna take a foundation brush today. It's the um, defined buffer brush. I'm just gonna buff that into the skin. I'm usually not a person for using primers and stuff because I feel like some primers actually don't work for me but that primer I've only used it like the second time today and I think it's amazing for the price as well you have to go and purchase it Then I'm going to take a beauty blender and just make sure everything's all gone into the skin nicely. I look pale AF. I'm going to obviously take the concealer as well because 
this is my fave also. And I'm going to take a beauty blender and just buff that into the skin. I did a voiceover for my last video. What do you guys think of it? Do you reckon I should do some more voiceovers or do you prefer me to just talk in my videos like I am? Let me know, comment down below. Then I like to take a buffing brush and just blend out everything. Make sure everything's nice. Um, there's no creases or anything. So that's the worst thing ever having creases. And then I'm gonna take some RCMA powder and I'm just gonna bake under the eyes. Cute blender that already has baking powder on. Just pop that under the eye. Session contour powder in the shade light and I'm going to take a fluffy brush that is already dirty because I didn't have time to wash it but you know and just start bronze in the face a little goes a long way with this bronzer And then I'm going to take a beauty blender again, some more powder, I'm just going to sharpen up that contour. And I'm just going to brush off the one under my eye. I'm going to take that first blending brush we use, it already has the shade All Star on. I'm just going to run that underneath the eye without putting more product on because it already has a lot on. Making sure it connects with the outer corner. Same with the other eye. And then I'm going to take that clean fluffy brush again and just run under the eye, making sure it's all blended out nicely. Take the e.l.f. liner, my absolute fave. Just pop that in my waterline. Back into the subculture. Anastasia palette and I'm going to go take the shade edge and I'm going to just take this brush here take the shade edge I'm just going to pop that in my on my inner corner something a little different make the eyes stand out a bit more then I'm going to brush off that baking powder I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to use this setting spray from Primark. It is the glow one, it's absolutely amazing, but the spritz is so like, I'll show you. Poof. It's amazing. I'm running out of my MAC Fix Plus, so you know when you're on a budget, that's what you want to do. Wet and Wild. Highlighter powder in. It doesn't actually say what it's in. Oh, Blossom Glow. I'm going to use the uh, setting spray first. I'm going to use it from far away. Poof! Oh, that 
that is a lot of setting spray. Now this is where the real shine comes through. Yes! You can see it now. Absolutely love this colour. I'm going to take the CYO mascara again and I'm just going to put that on my bottom lashes. I recently purchased these HMB Cosmetics lip glosses. I've not tried them yet, but I absolutely can't wait. And there's a 20% off on Friday. And honestly, I advise you to get them, even though I've not tried them yet. I advise you to get these lip glosses. The amount of reviews I've seen is absolutely amazing. Fair play to Holly and congratulations. I'm so, honestly, I'm so excited to use this. The more peachy shade. Oh my God, look at the lid, it's so nice. And the box is absolutely amazing. I only purchased two because I wasn't sure on the pinky shade. I don't wear pinky colours, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go with two. See how I get on, and then I'm going to order the third one. But yeah, this is okay then. Oh my god, the packaging just, oh, it's to die for. Oh, Holly's left a little message on the back, and it says, Thank you so much for investing in my dream. I hope you love the product as much as I do. Love you always. Holly, Natasha Bloom. Now this is the one I think I'm going to be using today. This is the more brownier shade. Line my lips with the Rimmel London. This is in the shade Cappuccino. Gonna take the shade okay then. Well, I've never been so excited to try a lip gloss in my life. There we have it, the lip gloss. It's actually quite nice, I like it. And it's not sticky whatsoever. It feels so comfortable on the lips, honestly. I highly, highly recommend it. So this. here is the finished look. If you enjoy watching this video then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please turn on the post notifications if you want to see some more videos from myself and i'll see you again soon bye